Now, hopefully today, hopefully today, the entire damn stream doesn't crash. Because that was no fun, right? We didn't like that. We didn't like that at all. I rim. I have found Sky. It feels so weird loading up just the regular vanilla version of Skyrim with like no tricks, no alternate launcher, no script extender. Do I even have chat? I don't even have chat popped out. There's chat. Chat. How are you? Hello. Nice to meet ya. Here we go. Should be all we need. I don't know where the hell my phone went either. How did I lose my phone? Kilo, good to see ya. Coming in with the new strategy today. We actually have a little bit of a strategy. <clears throat> nah, let's go, let's go this button undone. We'll flex the first order logo. Flex my nerd dumb on camera a little bit. How much do I have to sell? I really don't have a whole lot to sell. I have a lot that I can buy. And apparently yesterday, Hina, how are you? Apparently yesterday when we talked about ways to launder stolen goods through a follower, it has to be a chest that the player owns at like a player owned house, which I don't think we can do. Kids, how many times do I have to tell you not to play with your food? God. Can you believe these kids? They're just out of, they're just out of control. Um, but I do have a little bit of a strategy of how we can level up speech. We're going to have to test it out, though. And actually, there's one thing that I wanted to look up real quick. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to look up how often can you bribe guards Skyrim. So it costs over a thousand gold to bribe a guard. Okay. How often can you persuade a guard? Skyrim. You can use persuasion on a guard once every two days. That's actually not too bad. I also want to try this. Somebody said if I... I did not oh know that. Did you guys know that you could speed up waiting in Skyrim if you do that? You gotta wait, you hit E, and then you drag it to the left. Not there. Two days just went by that quick. So let's see if I can convince a guard again. We can apparently do it once every two days. And it looks like every time we do it, we get about one eighth of a level. Stop right there. Well, that didn't work. That, that, that didn't work at all. Why? Why are my strategies so bad? God, I forgot who told me that tip. I think it was someone in the YouTube comments, but... Fantastic tip. All right, let's quick save and I guess try it one more time. Ooh, she has soul gems. Hey, hands off. 
I didn't even get a bounty for stealing all that. I'm just gonna run away. Ah, there's the bounty. Only five bounty. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Any chance I could talk you into overlooking this? All right. But you just watch yourself. Next time I might not be so lenient. There it is. Decent chunk of XP. <clears throat> Actually pretty good. So I wonder if we still retain our bounty. Let's save our game. Wait. I know you. Okay, so we do. We keep the bounty. But that's not the worst possible outcome, right? If every time I go up to a guard now and convince them to leave me alone, we get a little chunk of XP. I'll Wait. take my leave. Wait. I know you. I know you. I'll take my leave then. Okay, apparently it still hasn't been long enough. Maybe every two days is not the right estimate. Wait, I know you. Oh, oh! I have to go past the first conversation point. That's no mistake. You're a one. All right, but you just watch yourself. Next time. Oh my gosh, guys! It's working. It's actually working. So we'll go three days. Wait it out. I also forgot to even start recording. Now we're recording. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man. All right. But you just watch you yourself. You afford a Next time I might... Let's try it after two days. It'll just be slightly faster if we can do it every two days. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. All right. Oh my god, it's working. Just watch yourself. Next time I might not be so lenient. That's incredibly boring, but it's working. We only have to level it up 12 more times. So we have to do this probably like 65 to 70 more times. That sounds awful, but Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. All right. Just watch yourself. I keep approaching the same guy over and over. He's like, "Ha, ah, fooled me. Once again, this swindler." He's not even done talk. He's not even done going through his last sentence. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. All right. But you just Watch yourself. Before he's even done talking, we're already back convincing him we're not guilty. Next time I might not be so lenient. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. All right. You know you but you just Look at that! We're already almost at 79 now. We're flying through. Next. So while we're here, and while we're grinding through this, as boring as it may be, how is everybody? How's everybody's week been? Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. All right. But you just watch yourself. Next time Pretty good, that's good to hear. Uh, if you guys missed it, we did upload today. I know you. Today was an upload day. If you guys missed There's the video, no we did a... Uh... I can't believe this is working. <laughs> we did uh, sort of a mashup of our couple of streams we did on Fallout 3. Putting together a... Oh, a D&D &D campaign? You know, I've never played Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> um, but I started recently watching a lot of highlights of uh, Critical Role, and I used to have a lot of co-workers that were really into Dungeons and Dragons. It's always fascinated me how much work actually goes into it. Wait, I know you. Yeah, I've never actually played. I would love to. But I would, I want, is there a Fallout Dungeons and Dragons? 
I think that would be hysterically fun. I know, I know the core, one of the core aspects of Dungeons and Dragons is the classes that there are. Also, pardon me, I gotta, I gotta step away for two seconds. I'm super congested right now. I'll be back in like two seconds. Okay, there we go. 5E? What does 5E mean? Fifth, fifth edition? Fifth evolution? I gotta say, this isn't the most exciting way for us to get level 90 speech, but it's working. So there's a base edition of Dungeons and Dragons that comes out. Wait, I know you. There's no mistake. Who's in charge of it? I always thought Dungeons and Dragons was just a general term, but it seems that there is an official D and D. Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> That's kind of a goofy name for for like an actual group. We are the Wizards of the Coast. I know you. There's no mistake. All right. But you just watch yourself. Rank 80. It's working. It's actually working, guys. We finally found a break. We are about... We're going to get speech up 10 more times. And then we're going to be able to... Wipe everything out of this city. Wait. I know... There's no mistake. All right. But you just watch yourself. Yeah, this is just like RuneScape. Going up to the same guard in the exact same place. Uh, Wizards of the Coast, it reminds me of... Um, so, I grew up Catholic, and there's a pretty influential Catholic society called uh, the Knights of Columbus. And that name has always made me cringe, because it's just like... It, I don't know, it sounds like role-playing, or they're like LARPing. Not, not that there's anything wrong with LARPing. I, I, no mistake. All right. I think, you know, whatever your hobbies are your hobbies. Uh, truth be told, a lot of my uh, sort of attitude towards more, I guess, nerdy hobbies uh, has really changed over the last few years. And I credit a lot of that to my previous coworkers that I worked with who would play D&D. Because, you know, when I went to college... I, you know, I went as a 18-year-old kid who wanted to make friends and talk to girls and join a frat and be cool uh, and all that stuff. And then when I graduated school and was working a full-time job, working in a department with people who were much older than me and weren't necessarily people who, when I was in college, I would have gone out of my way to make friends with. Again, not that there's anything wrong with it. Just, it just wasn't my typical crowd. But hanging out with people who just loved their hobbies and were super passionate about them and loved to talk about them, and me deep down being a complete fucking nerd, absolutely loved that. And that's kind of a lot of why I started making content, was because it was like, why not just go all in with the hobbies and the games that I love and try to be creative with it? Because everyone else that I worked with loved it. Wait, or just loved the I stuff that they were into. There's no mistake. All right. But you just watch yourself. 81. Progress is moving. Some might not be so lean. I know you. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. You know you All right. But you just And you know even before People were watching my videos like like today, you know, it's only been a couple of hours since today's video went up and a, a couple hundred people have seen it, which six months ago would have absolutely blown my mind. Um, but even when no one was watching my videos, I still loved doing it and I still had fun doing it. And I was still pretty all in. It just took a long time to kind of learn what was good to do. I might not be so lenient. Breaking Skyrim and talking D&D. &D. Yeah, so 
How many people are in a typical Dungeons and Dragons group? This I can't believe this guard hasn't gotten fired. He's let me off the hook so many times. By the time we actually destroy this town, he's gonna be in for some shit. <clears throat> Wait, I know you. Need a party of at least three and one DM. There's no mistake. Right. And and the DM, they are the most important person when it comes to a Dungeons and Dragons group, right? Like they are in charge of the whole thing. They have to write the story. They have to help you create your characters. They have to write your characters into the story. I even started watching Matt Mercer. <laughs> like I started watching videos of Matt Mercer explaining how to write a DND &D campaign and stuff like that, just out of curiosity. I might not be so lenient. Is that two days? Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. All right. But you just watch yourself. Seth? Skorkowski. Um, you know what's been a goal of mine? Is... I know you. There's no mistake. When, uh... You're a wanted... You know, if I'm still making content six or seven years from now, which I hope I am, that means things panned out pretty well in terms of content and building a platform for myself. A, a like very long term goal is to have kind of like a critical role, but Elder Scrolls, if that makes any sense, when Elder Scrolls 6 comes out. Wait, I know. Because no it would totally be possible. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Nah. Well, your bounty. I must not have waited long enough for. Unless this guard has finally gotten tired of my shit. <laughs> He's like, you don't even have to convince me anymore. Go free. All right, get out of my sight. A coin or two. But you're known to me now, scum. Remember that. Wait. I know you. Do you? You're right. Maybe we have been acquainted. There's no mistake. All right, but you just watch yourself. Next time I might be not. Hey guys, he said next time he might not be so lenient. Let's uh, <laughs> I think we should take him seriously here. I might not be so lenient. Wait, I know you. There's no mistake. All right, but you just watch yourself. I can't believe this ended up being the strategy. So when I came into this stream, my strategy for leveling up speech to 90 was going to be to buy as much as I could from a store and sell it all back to that same store and then repeat the process. What's up, Brandon? How are you? Wait, I know you. There's no mistake. All right. but you Although I guess, yourself. you know, saying that I would want to do like a critical role, but Elder Scrolls themed is very ambitious because all of them are incredibly talented voice actors. Like they have Laura oh Bailey in the group um uh god i forget his name um he's a skinny guy uh but he's in a ton of he plays a ton of characters in fallout new vegas what is a one-shot campaign what does that mean wait i know you there's no mistake you're a wanted all right but you just watch yourself i think it is liam yeah, he plays a ton of characters in Fallout New Vegas. One session self-contained story. Okay. Might not be so lenient. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. All right. But you now, if you guys have just joined the stream and you're wondering what's happening right now, we're finishing our final grind to level 90 speech. And once we hit level 90 speech, we'll be able to sell stolen items to any vendor in town. I might not be so lenient. Wait. I know. There's no mistake. All right, but you just watch your Next time. Uh, yeah, I have like a five gold bounty, and I'm going up to the same guard. Might not be so lenient. Wait, I know there's no mistake. 
He keeps saying he won't be so lenient next time, although he does keep being very lenient. Can we give this guard a name? Isn't it set actor full name? If someone could find the command, we can give him a name in game. I'll change his name. He's helped us out more than enough. I'd love to. Wait, I know you. There's no mistake. All right. And no matter what happens, this guard lives. Next this guard cannot die. We have to name him. him. Yeah, we gotta make him a part of our crew. Wait. I know He's no just mistake. letting me practice a smooth talking right. on him. But you just watch your Come up to me every single two days and I'll help you out. Frederick Smooth Tongue. I don't know if that name fits him because he's not necessarily a smooth tongue. I mean, we have swindled him like 75 times in a row now. There's no mistake. All right. But you just watch. See, if I make him essential though, then that removes any potential drama from the storyline of our time in solitude. Next time I might not be so lenient. Wait. I know you. This is that next time. You're a wanted man. All right. But you just watch yourself. Next time I might not be so lenient. Really? What? No way. There's 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 got to just be a command for it. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. All right. Try try googling set actor full name Skyrim, or set actor name. Just watch yourself. Next time I might not be so lenient. There's no mistake. All right, but you just watch yourself. Eighty-five. God, we started at seventy-seven on this stream. We are already almost there. Ah, oh, Google does say to get a mod. I might not. All right, well, we're going to have to keep an eye out on this guard. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. All right. But you just watch yourself. Next time I might not be so lenient. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. You're All right. But you just watch yourself. Yeah, it might just be the Gamebryo games. Because in Oblivion and Fallout, I think it works. Or at least the Gamebryo Fallout games, so Fall 3, New Vegas. This is going to be so satisfying when we hit 100 speech, or 90 speech. Just watch. Did you guys know about this hack? When you wait, you drag it over here, hit E, and then drag it back. It flies right through it. Next time I, might not be so I never knew that. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. All right. But you just watch yourself. I'll see if we can reverse pickpocket some armor onto him. Yes, and then he'll stand out. Perfect. Yes, absolutely. Uh, or, yeah, we can give him a hat or just something to make him stand out. It's going to have to be more valuable, though, than his current armor. And that'll help him stay alive. You've never seen so many words. Oh, also, guys, sorry about yesterday's stream. My internet completely went down. 
So I elected instead of trying to restart the stream to just take the 45 minutes we recorded, save it, and then go and finish today's upload. This should be a really fun video to make though. You know what I'm thinking for this video? Okay, I'll give you guys sort of the workshop in my head of how this video will play out. I wanted to start off, uh, I'll use a mod that puts a uh, gaming PC in the basement of the Riverwood uh, hotel in. And I'll have my character Shady Sam sitting at the computer and he's going to be watching the last video that we did in Whiterun. And because this version of Shady Sam has the long hair and he's scrawny and scraggly, he looks disheveled, it'll be almost like he's sort of fallen off after that video did much better than they would have thought. And because when we set up this, we did it sort of like as an investigation, right? With the spy music and stuff like that. So then his uh, uh, contact, I guess, you know, in like every James Bond movie, there's usually always a very sophisticated woman on the other side who's like, Bond, your objective is to take out this location. Or like Jarvis, kind of. There'll be a Jarvis type character who comes in, is like, uh, you know. Uh, shit, I forgot the script that I was writing down. But he'll say something to him like, Wait, I know you. There's no mistake. Sorry, it's hard to talk and listen to this guard at the same time. Uh, but he'll say something to him like, um, I have the script right over here minimized. I just don't remember it. Oh, like you're, you're looking rough, aren't you? Something like that. Well, clearly you're broke. How about another job? Boom. Transition into mission briefing, solitude, enhance image. Enhance image. Target located. I want it to be sort of spy themed, if that makes any sense. Or like James Bond, Sly Cooper-esque. I want it to have a completely different theme than the last one. And yes, I'll try and find some way to involve Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So I'm thinking I'm going to go all in for this project as well. Because, you know, the last one did do so well. I absolutely want to go and spend as much time as needed on this project. So if it is a little overwhelming, we'll just start recording the next challenge for the channel on stream. And I'll probably get that one done first. Because the next one we're going to do is going to be a lot less intensive and it should be a much easier project. And if you're curious on what that one is, we have a mod now that DDM made where all of your skills are permanently locked at level 1. You can level them up to gain level XP and increase your health, but as soon as a skill increases to level 2, it resets back to level 1. So all skills are permanently locked at level 1. You can still gain XP, though, and level up and increase your health or magic or stamina. We'll also be playing on survival mode, and I'm contemplating putting it on legendary as well, and I'm also contemplating on making it permadeath. Wait. So it'll be no the absolute most difficult version of Skyrim imaginable. And then after that one, I definitely want to do Fallout again. Want to try and come up with another Fallout challenge if I can. Be so lenient. Wait, I know you. There's no mistake. All right, but you just watch. Next time I might not be so lenient. Wait, I know you. There's no mistake. All right. 88, we're right there. Permadeath might be too difficult. And the reason, the only thing I don't like about permadeath is I like having death montages in my videos. Like if you saw today's video, the sequence in the minefield was great because I died quite a few times. I know you. There's no mistake. I like including my mistakes and deaths right. in a video, and if I'm too Stop careful, yourself. then I think it can get a little bit boring at times. It can get it just a tad boring two times. Mick! 
Welcome back again. <laughs> I promise. At least I can't promise because I don't know about my network, but hopefully my network doesn't go down today. Apologies to everybody who was here yesterday for the entire network going down. The Mickey D raid Shadow Legends. There's no mistake. All right. So let me explain to you guys real quick. If you were here yesterday on stream, I'll give everybody sort of the rundown of what we're doing. Um, I did a YouTube video a couple of weeks ago where we played Skyrim without leaving Whiterun. And in that video, we did everything we possibly could imaginable while destroying the city of Whiterun without ever leaving. So now for the follow-up video, we're doing Solitude. And our main goal throughout this entire process has been to get an education in speech. Education got too expensive and we can't pickpocket our tuition back. So what we're doing right now is continually convincing the same guard over and over again repeatedly to let us go for a low bounty until we get level 90 speech. When we hit level 90 speech, we can sell stolen goods to any vendor that we want. And that's how we're gonna make video, uh, that's how we're gonna make money. Because in the first one, we made all of our money via alchemy. And in this run, we've outlawed alchemy in terms of profit. And we are on like 89 speech. We are right there. We are knocking on the doorstep. Siltstrud, I, I don't... Also, what? Beans? This is not the bean... Okay, fine. This can be the bean room. Are there beans in Skyrim, though? Wait, hold on. Mick, a bean is a legume. Am I not wrong? Everyone, I need everyone's best legume fact that you can. I need everyone's top legume fact because Mickey is a big worm facts guy. We're kind of in a rivalry right now of worm facts versus legume facts. He tries to drop worm facts in my chat. Oh, I actually, I haven't even put any, uh, I haven't put any legume facts in his chat. I meant to earlier. Next time I... Honestly, we'll be looting and stealing from so many people that it kind of is our version of the bean room. Wait, I know you. Peanuts are a legume, not a nut. Right. 89. We're right there. One more. I cannot wait for this grind to be over. This is like RuneScape. Playing Skyrim in this way without leaving a single town, it, it is the same experience as playing RuneScape as a non-member way back in the day. I might not be Official fail. I uh, I also don't know what a legume is, really. I always thought it was just a bean. It's not much to ask. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. All right. But you just watch yourself. Next time I might not be so lenient. Oh, guys, guys, he might not be lenient next time. We are so fucked. What we're going to do, though, first priority after getting level 90 speech, we have to change this guard's outfit. He's helped us out on our mission too many times. I know you. So we have to make sure he doesn't die in the ensuing chaos because we have yet to get the Wabajack. We have yet to steal everything from every store. I think that's my main end goal is to steal everything from every store and sell it back to the same stores. And then get Wabajack. I know you. Legumes were instrumental parts of people diets during the Dark Ages and helped raise the average. And uh, 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 Dark Handed. I know the first few legume facts off the front page of Google when I see them. We need deep legume facts. We need to go in depth. All right. but you just watch yourself. I don't know why I keep walking away from this guard. I think I just like respecting his space. Next time I might not be so lenient. Wait. I know you. On translator, what's your uh, first first language? You just watch yourself. Next. What is a pregnancy announcement but a fancy like, Ma'am, congratulations, ma'am. You have a human legume. What does that mean? Oh, sorry. I, I meant to say baby. I just, I've been following this legume facts Twitter account, and I'm just really into legumes right now. All right. But you just watch yourself. We were doing a lot of Dungeons and Dragons talk earlier because I've become fascinated with uh, the game itself and kind of learning about it. Never actually played. I might not be so Can you do an entire legume themed Dungeons and Dragons uh, I know you. raid? There's would that be called say. or party? Right. But you just we did it. Next time we I did it. So 
Bellrand, we did it. Hey, also, did you notice that Bellrand is also balding? Oh, yeah, fun fact, guys. We're a vampire. We became a vampire without leaving the city of Sky the city of uh, Solitude, and not through a vampire raid via the Dawnguard DLC. Also a fun fact. Legumes are a fruit. Oh, okay. That that's now that's interesting. Now that is interesting. So if we're going to reverse pickpocket this guard, well, let's just see what we can take off of him first. Because we need him to stand out. If chaos ensues, this guard has to survive. So we can steal his bow and his dagger. We're going to have to give him some heavy armor or something. Level 90 speech. I can't believe we did it. I cannot believe we did it. One. Oh no. Oh yes, okay, I do have enough perk points. I thought I was gonna be out of perk points. What's Master Trader? Every merchant in the world gains 1,000 gold for bartering. Bits and pieces. You know, early in this run, bits and pieces, she put a hit contract out in my name. She sent killers after me. Time to show her how I feel about that. All right, let's just see if this works. Potion of regeneration, and I have a ton of, uh, I have a ton of stolen stuff. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Oh my god, yes. Oh, it feels so good to clear all these stolen items out of my inventory, guys. You have no clue how good it feels just to get rid of it. It's amazing. It feels so good. Some humans contain legumes? What? How? How do legumes live within one man or woman? Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. The finest weapons and armor. We're going to invest in the dumbest store in town. Yeah, let's just start selling. None of this is stolen, though, so I'm not too interested in getting rid of it. This feels... If you guys have been here for most of these streams, I, I can't explain how good this feels. Uh, let's keep our ingredients for now because we're going to have to make some paralyzed potions. Make make some people fall downstairs. One of our objectives we have is to prank several uh, several contacts within town. A flute? The hell do I have a flute on me for? Potamus skull. God, that whole that whole dungeon was incredible. If we give him Orcish armor of major health, it costs two grand. Am I really gonna give this guy two thousand dollars worth of? I mean. We're going to make the gold back real quickly. Alright, let's go give our friend some armor. To make him really stand out among the guards. And be probably unkillable. Wait, I know you. Quick save just in case we fail. Zero percent? God damn it, did I just buy this for no reason? Should I give him the vampire armor? Oh, he doesn't even put it on. Can you change a guard's outfit? The real legumes, yeah, they were. They were the friends we made along the way. Well, I'm going to have to sell this armor back to him. Probably a good way to train speech. Like, if I wanted to train speech, could I just go up to this guy and sell my armor? And then buy it back? And then sell it again? No, we gained, like, no speech XP there. I just wasted so much money. Damn it. I'm not a good trader, guys. 
I just got finessed on the Solitude stock market. That's what I thought, but... I mean... Let's be honest. The Orcish armor is way better than... Regular ol... Regular ol armor. Let's just steal everything from his store. Literally everything. <laughs> Don't question my morals. Yeah, I'm even taking his potatoes. And his carrots were even stealing the man's food. Poor guy. Ah. His extra clothes? Sure. When he gets off work, he's not going to be able to change into comfy clothes. Jesus, <laughs> just clearing him out. I'll leave him two baskets, just in case he needs to glitch through a wall. Oh man, he's got even more in here. He even has dinner all set up. We're taking his dinner. <laughs> no hot pocket for you, we're taking it. Why am I breathing so heavily? Now this is how you case a joint. Give me all your damn potatoes. All your clothes. Everything. Even his home defense dagger. We're even taking his books. This man's not going to have any recreational activity. Now if you think about it, if we take all things that make this man happy outside of work, then he can only focus on his work. And if he's only focused on his work, that means he'll bring more value to the town of solitude. We're doing the town a favor here. What we're doing is enhancing the oh shit economy. Just took everything out of this house and he didn't notice. You little thief. Shit. Thing I quick saved. This is why we cheat. Can't let him see us. He's gonna turn around and the whole entire the whole entire room is gonna be empty. Don't look, don't look. Ooh, the flute's worth quite a lot. This is kind of like my version of Footloose. I'm taking all of his books, no more raiding in town, and no more drums. This is a percussion-free town. Did he? Oh, he ignored... <laughs> he doesn't care at all. He's like, hey, it's not my house, why would I give a shit? My boss sucks. Wrong, but did we already steal from the strong box? It's empty. Maybe he followed our lead and decided to rob from his boss. Why is he keeping skulls in his house? That's like the third or fourth skull in this house. There. Inkwell, Quill, not even letting the man write. Let's take his shoes. Okay. <laughs> his house has been cleared out. One house down. Like, where the fuck did my dinner go? Hey, it wasn't me. But uh, enjoy your dinner of nothingness. He's going to be having an ice sandwich. He's having soup for dinner. It's just ice cubes in a bowl of water. Seems I took his, no yeah, I took his Timberlands. Just sell it all right back to him. Sir, I've recently come in contact with a lot of valuable equipment. You may be interested in it. Hey, that looks like my axe. Hey, that looks like my poison. Hey, that looks like my dinner that I ordered for delivery.
Hey, that looks like my entire fucking library. We're selling his life back to him. We're taking his life and selling it back. God, he's broke now. <laughs> we ran him out of business. Well, sir, I, look, I can't sell you your plates sir, back. Anytime you need arms or armor. My Forge. Never rest. Don't like those eyes you've got. There's a bad hunger to them. Seems there's no end to the need. Okay, he doesn't want to uh But what can I help you with? You don't want to sell to me? Your skins is There we go. The finest weapons and armor. We still have to decide who we want to invest in. And I'm not really sure. But I'm going to sell everything that I can right now. Aside from Patama's skull, I guess. Well, I don't want to sell all my ingredients, especially not the slaughterfish scales. I think we need those. Or no, it's slaughterfish egg that we need. Eight sets of tongs, seven wooden bowls. Yeah, you don't want to miss out on this deal, Bayrand. I'm really hooking you up here. Now let's go see if we can buy. I've got a little work if you're interested, traveler. You know, we haven't actually taken a quest. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? <laughs> you think I need to make easy gold? We've already gone out of our way to make all the difficult gold. It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I like to collect things as well, just other people's things. I'm no thief, though. I'll never admit to it. Of course not. Thieves take what is precious. Thieves steal. Don't worry, Christian. I don't plan on leaving. Not be I just want to get him out of town. He's a shady character. I'm the only shady character allowed in town. Stop a few deaths. Who would call that thievery? I'm listening. I knew you looked like a clever one. Don't worry. We're just trying to get him out of town. Many more ships come through these. We have an in the Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in. But what an interesting. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards. <laughs> Setting up a wreck. How dare you? I'm turning him into the guards. Turn me in for what? A tragic and very, very. Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they watch. Maybe I can't turn him into the guards. Maybe they'll even pay us. I've done a good enough job at convincing the guards over a hundred times that I'm not guilty of crimes I have very obviously committed. And I can't convince them that this guy is trouble. Kids, run, he's a thief. You don't want to hang out with thieves now, do you? Seemed a little rude. This dead body is still here. It's been months. Does anybody plan on cleaning this up? No, she's just going to stay here, Belrind. You're useless. Belrind has become useless. All right, let's go take everything we can from bits and pieces. Time to clear you out. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. How dare you? What? Viren said you got here just before the execution. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. The, not, the, not the way we're supposed to do it now. I want to turn myself in. All right. You, you have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Now we convince. This is where speech comes in handy. How about you look the other way? Come on. All right, but you just watch yourself. Next time, I might not be so lenient. Thank you, thank you, guard. Okay, Sema. Good afternoon. Yeah, you want to trade real quick? Take a look. <laughs> just gonna sell it all right back immediately. Now that we've gotten rid of that invasive third party, let's make a trade.
Wasn't really able to get all that much from her. Make sure to recommend us to your uh -huh. All right, fine. I'm getting out of here. I know you. So same as same as pissed off. She caught us red-handed. She even bought the book back. She bought back the book we stole. Now just for chaos's sake, let's go do Shagora's quest. I have to find where Dare Venon is, though. Who is that? I wish only to graduate and Ernskar? The Legion. My drums Wait, where did Ernskar get his clothes? Ernskar has been naked the whole time. Somebody put clothes back on Ernskar. Jorn. I... What are you doing? It's an honor to have Viarmo for instruction on drums. But it's far too I'm not interested in your percussion hobby. Why would you put clothes on a dead man? And why are the dead bodies still all around town? They're not going away. Ernskar belongs in the street. Let's put him right back in the path of the uh, tag playing kids. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. The amount of times I've heard that line is just ridiculous. Please. Take pity on an old madman. Here, have a piece of gold. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. I'm a very giving person. Very giving person. I'm basically Robin Hood, if you think about it. My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Well, if he's on vacation, maybe he doesn't want to talk to you. Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Yarrow. No, no. Such people are below. There go the kids, right behind us, playing tag. He went into the it's been months and they're still in the same game of tag. An old friend said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. The Mind of Madness. Here we go. Do you guys remember? So if you guys were on the stream the other day, these little kids that go around town, they were playing tag, and I decided, all right, we'll join in the game of tag. They tagged Ernskar, dead, in the street. They tagged him. They made him it. Don't know how that happened? Don't know how they got him to agree to a game of tag when he was already deceased, but it happened. <laughs> Which is one of the stranger, one of the stranger events that's played out in, in both of these experiments combined. No, that guy we were talking to? Yeah, he's, de he's definitely a wood elf. Just tidying up. Who am I supposed to talk to in here again? Gain access to the Pelagius wing. Ah, thank you, quest marker, for explaining it all perfectly. Do you have business with the court? Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years, and for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad. Do we know who killed Ernskar? We don't. We have no clue. Ghost or not, he just showed up dead. And I haven't seen vampires in town once. Left buried away. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Keep your hands to yourself. I am the Yarrow Steward. If you have court this Absolutely not. That ghost or not. There are reminders of his dark rule. Oh, I can talk to other people. Okay. Watch. I was like, did I miss did I mess this up? Things, not on your life. It's dangerous in there. And Falk doesn't even like me and Erdie going in every year to clean out the spiders. If you really want to, just be careful of the ghost. Going in. 
We're going to see Wes Johnson. You know, I haven't done a Shea Gorath quest in forever. I haven't played Shivering Isles in God knows how long. been quite a while man this place is dirty can i steal all of this oh it's not stealing i should have came in here to make money purple butterfly in a jar that'll fetch a nice price huh? how do we get rid of those oh it's back here Are there actual enemies in here? This isn't a combat heavy quest at all. Oh, oh I couldn't. Goes right through me. Hey, where's Belrind? So many where's my friend? What have you done with him? So many undesirable to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my my headsman hasn't slept in three days. Shagorath is so quirky. He makes the food vibrate. My dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance. Acid, have a good one. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Grow old. You are the best septum that's ever. Would you tag that? Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god. And that's hardly sporting. Oh, that's an oblivion reference. He's making references. How rude. Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. He's been in here that long. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know. A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. What's a concubine? Well, spit it out, Martel. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Was asked to retrieve you from vacation. <laughs> uh, I think I made a mistake coming here. I don't want to talk to somebody that eats snout. Oh, no, 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 no. No mistake at all. What you made was a choice. Granted, not a very wise choice, but these things happen. <laughs> oh, the folly of youth. You know, you remind me of myself at a young age. All I cared about was riding narwhals and sleeping in honeycombs and drinking baby's tea rooms baby's word of advice if you ride a narwhal mind the point no, go back to the baby's tears thing i, I need an explanation look at this table it's just fallen over now, everything on the table has a mind of its own <laughs> yes you're the mortal messenger and i am <laughs> yeah Honest. Have you any mick used to be the number one morrowind streamer on mixer if you guys didn't know Don't yell at me. Actually, you do, Sartre. I am a part of you, little mortal. I'm a shadow in your subconscious. A blemish on your fragile little psyche. You know me. You just don't know it. Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness, at your service. Does that mean you leave? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday! Complete! Time to return to the humdrum day to day. I love this guy. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Easy. This will be an easy quest. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. Look around. This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Garden. But it's technically within Solitude. Where you are. Where you truly are. Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right. You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of guy. We're actually inside the mind of Shady Sam from the first video. Swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense. Sure, sure. Or you could use the Wubba Jack. 
Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Finally. Finally. What am I wearing? Oh, I like this outfit. This is a nice outfit. I look very nice. You have headed down the path of dreams. Of which I have done. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. That didn't work. I've already failed the first puzzle. Do I have to grab these little bugs? Or shoot them? I'm just taking the bugs. They might be valuable. Oh shit. No, stay away from him. Do I have to start over? A bad time to get lost, friend. <laughs> it turns him into a child. Wait, maybe he's afraid of his younger self. Sultry maiden. Oh. Okay. I actually can't heal myself. I might die. I'd really rather not die. Ah, oh, Jesus! Why did this quest have to get so hard? I was not ready for this. <laughs> I was not ready for that at all. Got him. Oh, look, they started a little fire. Yeah, I'd be having night terrors too if I had to look back and that's how I used to dance as a kid with no music. Well, now that's something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Chapter one complete. Oh, I can't even loot the chest. What does this all mean? <laughs> this is... I don't know what this means. Who cares? We got one down. And I got scared by a, uh, what's it called? <laughs> I won't use the Wabajack on little Pelagius, although I was tempted to use it on him. It would have been kind of funny. I'm going to use it on the kids playing tag ah, back in town. Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead. Pumpernickel, but the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. Oh, the that's sad. The on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part. Is this guy getting bigger? The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. This is the end for you. I think I know what I'm doing here. He doesn't really seem to be reacting though. His confidence seems to be in pretty good shape. He hasn't gotten knocked over or lost his footing. Never should have come here. Here we go. Come on. Oh my god, wait, what am I supposed to do here? Run! Pelagius, go! Having a small problem? Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. I have no clue what I did there. I have no idea what I just did <laughs> to get past this. So if his confidence is that large, what does that say about me? What does that say about who I am and what my purpose is? I'm 
is he doing the fish stick? It's a very delicate state of mind. The fish stick? Oh, good choice. Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose in the grand... I got a load of save. It's playing two different tracks of action that music at once. Wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabajak to defeat the enemy while they do the same. Am I doing this right? Is this, is, is this what I'm... I think I'm supposed to change it to the correct one that can win the fight. Wait, I can't. I, I got it. You got to get out of the corner. I can't help you out from there. Hmm. Your creature doesn't appear to be faring any better than before. I know, I know. I don't need you talking shit, okay? Just let me figure this out my own way. Damn it, he won't leave the corner. There's got to be a way I can get an angle on him. God, would you two idiots move? Okay, I think I I think I lost. <laughs> okay, maybe I can just back away and it'll reset. Yeah, I'm going home. Screw this. I'm over your tricks. They're definitely still fighting, and I'm taking damage from something. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. I love Shea Gorath as a character. A very early I love Wes Johnson. But this quest is a little... At any time, eh. Eh, you know? The objective here is simple, you simple. Uh, Hina, yeah, actually. Um, defeat the enemy. Sorry, one sec, he's talking. Do the same. He's talking very loudly. Um, yeah, if you check the channel banner on YouTube, that was drone drone. That was drawn by Eversearcher on our Discord server. They did an awesome job. So is that the guy I gotta kill? There we go. We should win this fight. Come on, Iceman. You got this ice. Ice should beat fire, right? Or is it the other way around? I assume they both have a weakness to each other. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the <laughs> Rod Axis, you're said, right. That's all I had to do. Helped him out, sort of. And we're that much closer Whoa. to home. Don't shoot me. I'm just a bystander. I'm just here trying to solve a puzzle. I could have sworn, though, on my first try, I shot at the other side. I, th I thought I'd... Maybe the timing, I just did it too early. I think I had to wait a little bit longer. Okay, are we done here? Can I go? Can I go destroy Solitude some more? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. I know. I'm trying to get into my fish stick, so let's get this over with. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated... Is far more appropriate. Yeah, Hina, exclamation point Discord if you want the link. We'd love to have you. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. 
I am first. I did die once. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septum the Third. Once the mad emperor of Tamriel. Now so boringly saved. Does he open up a portal for me? Well, I suppose it's back to the shivering isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply. Oh, the Easter eggs and callbacks. You gotta love it. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Close. Check. Beard. Check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? What the hell was he even doing here? Was this fun? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabba Jack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. <laughs> you take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in new shape... Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. We can share a strawberry tart. <laughs> Ta -ta. Isn't there something... I didn't even get him to scream about cheese. I didn't get him to scream about cheese at all. I thought he had a line where he screams about cheese a ton. So are we done now with this quest? Or is there more to it? I'm going to sleep down here. This is my new house. I finally have a home. God, it's taken long enough. Okay. Wabajack acquired. I'm just going to go sell it right away. Now, one thing I have to make sure that we keep is we have to keep this charged. We definitely have a lot of shots that we can use. Is, uh... Oh, Majima, that's awesome. Good to see you. It's it's been awesome to see so many different people from the channel um, who have found the channel. It's been honestly pretty overwhelming. It's been pretty crazy. But I appreciate everyone who's been uh, coming through to the streams. Um, so we've done a lot so far. Let let's just do a soft recap. We've been in solitude for close to ten hours now. Our speech is. Somehow buffed to a hundred? I don't know what's buffing speech. Am I wearing something enchanted? I don't know what's bu what's improving it. Speechcraft increased ten points for one hour. Okay, gift of charity. Um, but we have speech. We've gotten all the way up to ninety, so we can sell stolen goods. Pickpocket, we maxed that out at 100. Those are These are the two main skills we've played around with. Conjuration, we've leveled it up a decent amount. Enchanting, a tiny amount, not a ton. And really, that's it. That's really all we've leveled up. This whole time. Um, because in this version of the challenge, we said no alchemy for profit. I do. I have to do the fish run again. It's an... Even now, I've seen so many people have found the fish run. Weird old videos on the channel that people have started to find are the slaughterfish challenge. And the... Not even so much a challenge. It was the video where I named my character Les Stroud and installed Requiem and Frostfall at the same time to just make the game really hard. And I want to do the, the slaughterfish challenge again. We have to go back to the chicken run first. And then maybe we'll do... I, I think I want to do a complete playthrough as a fish before uh, Starfield comes out. But yeah, people have been people have been finding those videos, so I sneakily updated the thumbnail to make it match the more recent style as of late. You know, bright blue background with the same text style that I use on the left side of the thumbnail. Brand consistency. Well, now that we have Wabajack, do I get in trouble if I hit someone with it? I mean, we might as well just try out the Wabajack. Just see what happens.
I need to make more paralyzed potions as well. I want to use paralyze on a guard when they're at the top of a staircase and just watch them bonk. Bonk their head on the way down. Uh oh. That didn't even work. It didn't transform the guard. Did he resist it? Oh my god, I'm gonna die in like two shots. You have a chance to one shot anything. Really? The the Wabajack can just one shot someone. I honestly I have not I know. I've played Skyrim a ton in my life, but I haven't really played around with the Wabajack a ton. Very dumb. Being old's not so bad. No, don't worry about it, Hina. You're all good. We appreciate having you either way. Let's just use it on her. She seems pompous. Oh. Oh, it actually, like, kills him? Oh, I... I I didn't realize this was such a, a murder weapon. I thought it was, I thought it would just transform people, not kill people. I'm almost out of ammo already. Oh shit, I died. <laughs> I thought it would be so much uh, different. I thought it would change them into like an animal by random effect. I know you. I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear radiant rain. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know. I should probably put my uh, vampire uniform back on. I'm keeping the hat. I don't care what anyone says. I am keeping the hat on. The fine hat stays on during sex, babe. Go back to playing tag. Shit, it didn't do anything. Run. She's resisted it. She's invincible. Guard. Guard. These children have been cursed. The Colovian fur hat stays on. Give a holler if you have any questions. Hi, oh, wait. It's good to see Hi, Angeline. Take a look. Definitely wasn't stealing your potions, but I found these out in the wild, and you might be interested in buying them. Forget me next time you need herbs and potions. Watch what you're doing. So can I just can I just do this? Pick up her potion. Just gonna take her potions and drop them over here. <laughs> it's so stupid, but it works. Ooh, this one's worth a lot. Welcome to Angela's Aromatics. Can I help you with some herbal needs? You can help me by shutting up and let me continue to just rob you of your inventory. Which one's worth a lot? Ooh, this one's this one's pretty big. That over there. Need something for a potion? Ooh, a paralysis potion. poison. We actually need that. We're just going to use that on our own. Hold on. What else you got in here? Ooh, nice so mage robes. Thank you. Perhaps a pinch of this and a bit of that. Hmm? Not quite. I'm not too interested in any of your other wares. Let me just... Oh, Belrind, get out of the way! Can't you see? I'm in the middle of a very important mission here, Belrind. Mm -hmm. I need the Dartwing. Dartwing is good for... Paralysis. Dartwing and Slaughterfish eggs. She follow her. She followed us around the corner. Oh, she missed. What the hell did she? Oh my God, she's teleporting. It's good to. S so you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Oh uh, well, I I am interested in them in a way that may surprise you. But I'd rather just steal them and sell them back to you. Thank you very much, Angeline. Don't it's always fun doing business with you. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Oh, uh, slaughterfish egg. She has it. She does have Dartwing. Does she have blue Dartwing? No. She does have the orange one, though, and that's good. That'll work for what we have to do. Slaughterfish egg. No eggs. 
on t- That's okay. Let's get some eggs. For next time. Her daughter died? Oh, her daughter is in Whiterun. Yeah, her daughter is dead. It's good to... Ah, so you're an alchemist then. She's not going to put out a hit on me. Okay? You guys and your scare tactics. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. Take a look. There it is, Slaughterfish Egg. Oh no, Slaughterfish Egg is Fortified Pickpocket. What's Paralysis then? All right, then. I don't need to Fortify Pickpocket, I need Paralysis. She did already give us one. So we have, we have one Paralyzed Potion. Let's go try and prank someone. Who should we prank though? I want to try and get a guard as they're going down a large set of stairs. It's like if we were able to get a guard to follow us up there and just tumble down. <laughs> Run, Belrin, we're taking their arrows. Oh, I got an idea. I know who we can prank. Belrin, come here. It stand right there. Perfect. Stay right there. May the gods watch over your back. If that's what you want. Watch your back out there. And if you need me again, you know where I'll be. Thank you for your service, Belrind. Are you shitting me? I got... It was 90%. Belrind, I swear. Wait, no. Belrind, let's be friends. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't believe I fucked that up. May the gods walk full of distraction. If that's what you want, Focus watch on your, your back out there. And if you need me again, you know where I'll be. Weird how he mirrors me. Back for more? Since we had so much fun the last time, I'll join you free of charge. Turn around and walk away from me. We are now officially broken up. I don't need you anymore. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Later, Balrind. Oh, God, it, it works for two and a half seconds. That wasn't very satisfying. That wasn't a very good prank. Belrand, wait, come back, I need you. Lead the way. I broke up with him. He went stiff, bonked his head on the stairs, and then just completely forgot about all that. He didn't even mention it. It's so weird to not make mention of that. Wait, you're right. You're right. Let's let's get him into a better location. Follow me, Belrin. Can he get up onto this ledge? If we could get him up onto this ledge, it would be perfect. Let's see if we can... Oh, we can't push him. Yeah, get out of my way. We'll do. Climb up. We'll do. Will do. Damn it, Belrin, climb up the edge. Nah, he's not gonna be able to jump. My favorite? Uh, I don't necessarily have a favorite, to be honest. I'd like Dark Elf, Imperial, Nord. Uh, I like Red Guards every now and then. Argonian for sure. Definitely like to play an Argonian. I just think they look really cool. And breathing underwater is just a cool secondary attribute to have. Focus on your target. Let's try and let's pickpocket every single guard out here. Let's just let's just start going on a stealing spree. I know you. No, you don't. Come on now. I want those arrows. 
Took a his great sword. <laughs> he lost his bow. No, 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 no. Stop. Go back to training. I need to take their bows while they're practicing. Come on, guys. Put your back into it. Use those bows like real soldiers. Someday soon you will all see battle, and what you do here today may well save your life. <clears throat> Way to keep them motivated, sir. Taking your arrows as well. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet rope. I did just recently play Fallout 3, so yes, someone did take my sweet roll not too long ago. They only ever call me out as a vampire when I get caught for pickpocketing. Staying safe, I hope. Doing the exact opposite, I'm living dangerously. You have committed crimes against Sky. <laughs> oh, shit. What say when you fence? What say me? I say quick load. I know your kind. Always sneaking about. If we disarm the Imperial Legion from the inside, they'll have no chance to win the war. God damn it. I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear Radiant Raiment has a large selection. Where's Tullius? I mostly deal with pay Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I'm looking for Tullius. I want to rob him. In fact, I want to rob the entire Imperial Guard. The everything they have. Even their clothes. We're taking their pajamas. The Imperials can't win the war if they can't sleep well. And if they don't have pajamas, there's no chance they sleep well. Wait, I know you. No, you don't. I keep saying that every time someone says that to me. Ooh, a ruby. That's worth quite a lot. Or to General Tullius, a quill, that thing, all of that stuff. Candlestick, nice. Make some ore. So without using alchemy or melee, I think I need to try and train archery. Because if I was able to start sniping people, that would be a lot of fun. You didn't miss a whole lot, Banjo, to be completely honest. I also need to level up again. I need to level General up and get some perks into Sneak. Is there anyone we can break out of jail? No, don't sit on the damn table. <laughs> I gotta get out of there. Move. Move, yep, first foot, left leg, right leg. Get him over the table. Oh, they're all sleeping. This will be way easier. Pickpocket or feed? Oh, I forgot that I can feed. I forgot I'm a vampire. We should probably take care of that. There we go. Now the people won't hate me nearly as much. Let's just start feeding on every single guard. If you do it multiple times, does it kill him? Like, what if I just continue to feed on the same guy?
He's a deep sleeper. He's a very deep sleeper. Mwah. I'll give you a kiss goodnight. Bellrin's gotta be like, what the fuck did I just sign up for? Who is this psychopath? Why am I following him around? And why haven't we left town once? Thank you for your donation to the cause. Take those boots. Ooh, more boots. And another skill book. Nice. Wait. I know you. It kind of sucks when you max out pickpocket though. Everything is still just a 90% chance. You can't completely just wipe people out like I would hope. No end to the needs. Such an investment will mean that I can take better care of my family. As well as my customers. Well, sir, it seems like your business has hit hard times. I heard somebody stole everything from your house. Uh, let's make an investment in this guy. I feel bad for stealing everything and selling it back to him. You'll look back on this as one of your best decisions. I swear it. Good. Looking to protect yourself? Or now he has more gold for us to make off of him. Amul Ooh, prices are 10% better? I'm putting that on. Amulet of Zenithar. Return. That's actually a fantastic amulet. Weapons and armor. Almost sold him Wabajack. That would have been a disaster. This is cool, though. We can steal everything from town and sell it back to him. Just pickpocket the armor off of guards and sell it. Oh, I just got rid of paralysis. I need that. You're only getting your food in town from the shop I invested in. You're not getting it from anywhere else, you hear me? Only from my store. The entire economy of Solitude runs through the one store I invested in. I'll hear no complaints. I will hear no complaints. Oh, did you guys see? Uh, Mick, I don't know if you saw this, but I think it was Game Ranks. Game Ranks posted a video on YouTube, and they were like, the most underrated Fallout game. And it was like a 20-minute retrospective on Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> and I'm like, we just had this conversation. We just had this talk. We've had this talk on stream multiple times now, actually. How may I help you on this fine day? Archery? Oh, wow. Hold on. This guy has some good stuff we can steal and just sell to him. I'm going to go right around this corner. I'm out of lockpicks. I sold my lockpicks. I got to get in there. True. I'm bows and arrows for the mighty. Do you sell lockpicks? Ah, he does. He has one lockpick on him. All right, we have one chance at this, guys. Andy's looking at us. Hopefully we don't get caught. That's how you do it. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Close it. You didn't see nothing. He didn't see nothing. Why don't you turn around now? Sir, I'd like to make a trade. Your typical bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. Bows do 20% more damage. I think I'm going to hold on to that. I think I'm going to hold on to that true shot. And here's here's an idea, guys. So what I forgot about is the anniversary edition of Skyrim has explosive arrows and they are incredibly fun to use. Excellent. I think you'll be No, no, I I don't want to make an investment in your business. A sharp mind beats a sharp blade. Why, of course. And will you also be needing the bow that shoots rainbows? Or perhaps That'd be kind of cool. Quiver that dispenses beer. Quiver that dispenses beer. Yes, I would love that. If you want arrows, we have them. 
but don't insult my intelligence. How do I get the explosive arrows? Oh my gosh, he has so many potions in here. I'm taking them. He didn't see it. He's too focused on his bread. You aren't considering any thievery. What? Fuck yeah! A gl Since when is this in the game? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. A glass crossbow? This is the coolest weapon I think I've ever seen in Skyrim. Nyx, have a good night. No, it's it's not so much that uh, the video I was talking about is is really like a bad thing or, or even necessarily like, I mean, it is a bad take. Fallout New Vegas is certainly not underrated at all. It's like the most beloved Fallout oh, game by far. And every other, I always make the joke that every week it seems like there's a uh, another two hour Fallout New Vegas retrospective on why it's the best game ever made right on my front page of YouTube. Um, I do love Fallout New Vegas, don't get me wrong. I've actually been playing it a lot casually recently. But like, we get it. <laughs> it's a good Fallout game. I love it too. Imperial crossbow, silver crossbow. They got all the crossbows in here, but no crossbow ammunition. I need to start taking out the Imperial Legion with crossbow bolts. I probably should see if he sells them. Here you go. Oh, there you are. I keep losing him. I'm an archer, huh? I've got just what you need. Bolt. He doesn't have any bolts. Perhaps I'll be seeing more. Am I gonna have to try and craft him? Really, Zayfun, you haven't played New Vegas? I I mean I absolutely recommend it. It's great. Seems there's no end. Take a look. Doesn't have them either. What do we need to craft them? Anytime you need arms or armor, my forge never rests. Can I not craft it? Fire arrows, fire salts, and firewood. Ice arrows, frost salts, and firewood. Lightning arrows, void salts. So, okay, any kind of salts that we can get. Well, I mean, it's, it is uh, discontinuous. It, it is hard to, it's hard to quantify what the best game ever made is. Everyone's, everyone's got their own. Yes. Good shit. I don't know. If I had to say, like, the best game I've ever played, I would say Red Dead Redemption 2, but it's certainly not a game that's for everybody. And I was I was a big fan of the original Red Dead, so Red Dead 2 was a lot for me. It was a lot for me. It was just awesome. But, again, not everyone's cup of tea. Such is life. So let's get, uh, oh, Angeline's Aromatics. Let's go down to her, and let's just abuse her shop until we can get some fire salts. If we can craft some explosive arrows... Space Cadet Pinball is an all-time game. Yes. Back when we had dial-up connection. It's good to, so you're interested in my potions and... In and, uh, you know, the internet would be out or just didn't have internet at all. The power would go out. I'd get on the computer and start playing some... <laughs> uh, some Space Cadet Pinball. Get me next time you need herbs and potions. So we got some void salts. Beautiful. Four, actually four stacks of void salts. That's pretty solid. Come back up to our friend here. Seems there's looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Damn, this sucks though. I want to use, I'm keeping the glass crossbow for sure. Imperial bow is a little bit better than the one I got. Can you not use uh, bolts? Or can yeah? Can you not get bolts and crossbow ammunition until you join the Dawn Guard officially? If so, that kind of breaks my heart. I think he has our firewood. Does he not have our firewood? 
He's got our wood cutting axe. We can go cut wood. Yeah, woodcutter's axe. Return anytime you so let's go get some wood and we can make our arrows. Stonks boy. Wait, I know you. Uh, to answer question A, even though it wasn't a question, General Kenobi, and B, I'm doing well. It's always a good day. I'm always in a great mood when it's uh, an upload day. Whenever it's a YouTube upload day, I'm incredibly happy. I am, I'm always having a good time. Yes, we are a vampire, uh, which honestly I think is one of the more impressive things we've been able to pull off in this run of never leaving solitude. That was an awesome stream. It was a mind-numbing, awful four-hour stream where an hour and a half of it involved me trying to use a bucket to get through a door. But we were able to get into the dungeon underneath solitude filled with vampires. Which you can't do normally unless you get the key for it, which involves leaving solitude to get the key. That's going to be a fun one to explain in the video. Big legume energy. Dude, that's such BLE. What? Big legume energy, dude. What? <laughs> Get with it. You're such a boomer. You don't know what a legume is? <laughs> You're so last gen. Brandon, we're not going to talk about the TGM. Resting legume face. I do have resting legume face. Do I have, speaking of, do I have resting bitch face? I feel like I kind of do. I feel like my resting face is always, and it's, I think it's my eyebrows, which is like the main thing I actually get compliments on in real life. Fun fact. Uh, Need but I think it's because of my eyebrows. I have resting bitch face. I look like an uncharted NPC. <laughs> you re you rest. Stop being funny. Stop being funny. Okay, that's my job. All right, it's my job to say stupid things. Um. So stonks the 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 gist of the challenge. And we did the original first run. We did white run. That video is actually up. Oh, it's four void salts for 10 arrows. Jesus. Uh, the original run we did is on YouTube if you are interested in watching it. But we did white run. And the goal is to level up as much as possible. Destroy the city as much as possible. Complete as many quests as possible. Without leaving the city. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, you did see that. One. Yep, it's, yeah, we're pretty much doing the same here, same thing here, except we are limiting ourselves to not using melee weapons or using alchemy as a means of making money. So that's why the majority of this run was spent grinding our speech skill and pickpocket skill. We got speech to 90 at the beginning of this, uh, scream at the beginning of this stream. So now what I want to try and do... Is see if we can take I doubt we can take out a guard in one hit. Well let's just try. I missed. <laughs> oh no. Run, 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 run. No, why would you spawn a wolf? Are they following? I don't think they're following. We got away with it. Crap, he's going to see us now. I didn't realize this wall went all the way around here. Does this go down? Or does this, go, this goes across the front of the city. We can actually probably get away with quite a lot of hijinks from up here. Oh, this is a hell of a spot. Get up here. Get up. Oh, what a spot. All right. I can be the only homeless man in town. Up. Uh, Get your dog out of here, please. Ooh, I forgot I can't actually get these arrows back. 
No more competition. <laughs> he lived. Why would he go back to... <laughs> he went back to resting on the exact same pole. He's screaming for help. Help! Help! Oh, well, I might as well just go back to this exact same pillar that I've gotten shot twice on. He seems very calm and collected. Oh my god, he lived. He survived. And we ran out of cool arrows already. And he just dodged! Oh my god, he's an impossible target to take down. But if you think about it, guys, this is a really good way of training archery. We can train archery from all the way up here. We're not going to do enough damage to get caught. No way. You actually can't shoot over the house. Can we shoot the birds? Let's see if we can take out a bird. Holy shit! <laughs> no way! We're going hunting. From deep. Uh. And he's right back to his pole. Let's continue training. <laughs> We're back to just training. Soul trapping a bird. Can we capture a bird's soul? I mean, I could go down. Right? Like, I could just jump down from here. And soul trap its dead body for XP. Or I can't, actually. All right, don't hate me for slight cheating. Very slight cheat. I just don't want to run all the way around town again. That's amazing, though, that we can train from up here. I want to use the crossbow so bad. Oh, a high elf? You think you can just walk around town all high and mighty? Oh, she actually got pissed. She's looking for us. The arrow's just sticking out of his head. I want to get a good look at this guy. <laughs> He's just right back to where he was. We're, I'm, I'm so getting caught. <laughs> this man is invincible. His health recharges so quickly. Oh, I think he's finally moving. He's finally fed up. He's like, all right, you know what? That column, way too dangerous. I'm moving over to this column where it'll be much safer. <laughs> it's too fun. It really doesn't get old. Look at all the XP, though, we're getting. We're getting a lot of sneak XP, a lot of marksman XP. And I like... Uh-oh. Ooh, that was close. I like this because... In terms of doing the final video, this activity, it's very solitude. It's it's very, you, you can't do this in a lot of the other cities because they don't necessarily have very high points that you can snipe people from and get away with constantly. Maybe Markarth would be a pretty good one. Could you imagine this challenge in Morthal? It would be miserable. It would just be so boring. Oh, come on, I was, oh, 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 oh. Oh, I thought I was going to die. Let's go talk to Noster. Hey, have you guys, uh, have you guys been getting shot by arrows? What's going on? It seems to be raining wood and steel. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. What? You see a man fallen on hard times, and you think he's been like that forever? I was there. I fought in the Great War. I was on the See, he fought in the Great War. That's why he's able down, to take a punch. Or me. an arrow. You understand? They left me for dead. I didn't leave them. He fought in the Great War of World War I. Oh, thank you. Let's give him a gold. Let's reward him with one gold for every couple levels levels of archery and sneak he grants us. 
Let's try this. Uh, ooh, ooh. Actually, this place, it gets really close to the birds up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Chat. I actually need your opinions here. That counts as leaving solitude, does it not? This is a big... This is big. Because if I go up there, it says I'm going... It says open Skyrim. What a waste. But I believe it just takes me up into the tower. And up yes. here. Oh my goodness. Oh, what happened? Down exits, up doesn't. Okay. Dead. Oh my goodness. Cause it just says to Skyrim. We're gonna save here, and and we're gonna just get up there. Oh. Oh. Pleasantly surprised. No way, I can't jump up on this ledge. Come on, Skyrim. Don't hold me back. If I was able to get up on this ledge and jump up there, I wonder if I can... I wonder if I could break it with a bucket, like I did before. The downstairs exit. If, if I took the stairs down, then it would go elsewhere. The Emperor? Is the actual Emperor in here? I've never been in here. I've never come in here before. And it's not stealing. I can just take whatever I want. Orange dart wing. We'll be able to make a paralyzed potion with that. All of this is legal to take. I've never been up in this place. Door requires a key. Shh. Really? Really? Are we really doing this again? Are we really doing this again? I'm I'm going to get a bucket. I'm getting me bucket. First, let's nab a bird. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> well, that works too. We'll take that. So when you go through that door, if you swing two daggers at the same time and paralyze yourself, you can clip through walls. If I go through that door, are we going to find the Emperor? Because if that door doesn't open other than for the Dark Brotherhood quest, is it possible to just go through that door and find the Emperor maybe half loaded and kind of glitched and be able to just kill him. Because if that's the case, that is fantastic. If we were able to kill the Emperor. Okay, uh, we'll take one uncircumcised basket. But the circumcised basket has... Yes, right here. That's been the best one for us. Let's go try. God damn it, am I really back to just trying to run through a wall again? It took so long last time. That's what I thought. The Emperor's on a boat. But let's still let's still check it out either way. Guys, I tried the plate last time. I had a really difficult time with the plate. Now do you use a wooden plate or do you could you use like a platter? Would a platter work? Almost. Come on, get me in there. I want to find out what's in there. 
I don't even care if it's underwhelming. I just want to figure it out. Hey, if we were able to kill the decoy emperor, though, that's still pretty cool. Ooh, so close. We're right there. I gotta go higher up with it. I have better luck when I go higher. Is it always this hard to clip through? Hey, that's what makes these games beautiful. Like, could you imagine how kind... It would be... Let's be real, guys. If Starfield comes out... And it is completely bug free. Like, let's just say it is a fantastically smooth experience with no issues at all. I would be kind of disappointed. I want it to be a little bit broken. <laughs> I want there to be some funny shit that we can exploit and break. Because all of that wrapped up in a brand new IP without the expectation of three or four games that have followed it previously. That gets me really excited. Come on. Oh, damn it. Oh, I thought we had it. Also, we're totally going to see gameplay at the end of the month when Todd Howard presents whatever award he's presenting to Phil Spencer. Since it's a since it's an Xbox PC exclusive. That's definitely when we're going to see gameplay. Has to be. Do you mean when you say soft lock broken, do you mean like a quest that doesn't go correctly cuz yeah no i agree when when a quest breaks that's that sucks or when new vegas still crashes on me every like 45 minutes that's no fun ah uh, come on what are we doing here hey hey basket we've been through this before we've gone through a lot of turmoil and trouble together I need you to step it up. All right? I got a lot of people sitting here that want to see you get me through this fucking door. We've had this issue before, and I am I'm I'm done playing these games, all right? You've driven me mad to the point where I've had full-on conversations and arguments with an inanimate object inside of another inanimate object if you can count this game as inanimate. I thought the motivational speech would have helped. I, I genuinely convinced myself the more I talk to it, the better odds I have. Almost. Almost. I, had, I got a feeling it's going to happen here soon, guys. The last time we did this, though, I thought I was driving myself crazy. I'm going to quick save out here, though. If there's nothing... This place is haunted. We got to go. It was time to leave. Taking my salmon steak. If there's nothing cool in there, then I am just going to get out. There's got to be something, though. What if we start from up here? Change up the strategy a little bit. And it's never worked as, like, if I keep sprinting. It always is just one smooth whoop right through the wall. Are there people that can really do this just on their first try every time? Because I got to tell you, I, I don't know if I buy that. Are all this... Uh, uh, we need to expose the fake speedrunners. You know, like like when Dream got caught cheating in his Minecraft speedruns? It's time we expose him. What's, uh, uh, what's the one uh, butthole guy? What's his name who does all the speedruns? He's very good at him. 
Come on, get through the door! We're gonna do this. Deep breaths. <sighs> Ulysses the Pagan, how are you? Nice to meet you. <sighs> Deep breaths. We got this. <sighs> Yoga. You, Mr. Door. Right here. That's the angle. It up just a tad. Center it. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, break dancing basket. Come on, man. I am so close every time. I am, like, right about in there. Let's go maybe in an angle. That looked like we had a lot of stuff. God, the entire room has just been destroyed by my basket flying around. I doubt we can get through here. Yeah, because that little corner of the door is stopping us. You think the door might just be a little too thick? What if we try that? What if we try on this bench? On this wall? <laughs> the bucket wants to kill me. I don't know what he has against this wall. Ooh. There's a chance. There's a chance on this wall. It's a prospect. So, so we could try with this wall. Nah. God damn, the bucket. The basket just wants to leave. He's tired of being beaten. Basket, you have to trust me, man. This is, it's for science. It's for science. So shit, basket, motherfucker. Come on! Just go through the door! Sorry, sorry, apologies, apologies for the attitude. I'm raising my voice, I'm sorry. It happens, I just, I'm passionate about basket glitching. I've never been more determined to get through an arbitrary, stupid objective in my life than to get through this damn wall. <laughs> you fucking thing. Whew. All right. You guys want some music? How about some tunes while we figure this shit out? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Open sesame. That would have been awesome if it was the first, if that was first try. Is there any advantage to doing it while crouching? All right, we'll try the circumcised basket or uncircumcised basket, turtleneck basket. No, no, that one doesn't work. Like. This, this one, maybe if I go horizontal with this one, it really doesn't want to... I can't work it and get it into the right position. Okay, 
I'm a god. I'm a god. God. I'm a god. <clears throat> Star, come to me through fire and war. Oh, oh, come near afar. Come and look upon the heart. Look upon the heart. That one doesn't work. Getting up on top of that bench does not work. But this little corner right here isn't too bad. I'm gonna get killed by the damn basket. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Marabar. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. God. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. No recall or intervention can work in this place. There is no escape. Come on! Push! Stupid platter. I'm going to try quick save, quick load. I haven't gotten it to work before, but let's just try. Oh man, I thought we had that one. I think this is the angle. Yeah, I think right there is the angle where we get the closest. Come on, we're so close. God, you motherfucking thing, come on. Ugh. Why? Why must it do me like that? Why? Why? Is there a 10 hour version of Dagoth Wave? No, nah, that doesn't surprise me too much, to be honest. I play these two songs way too much on stream, but I do love them. I don't care about your bad breath, but it's kind of sad that you don't talk to me. If you would tell me what is in your head, does you used to tell me that we're then to I know that death will never do us part. I look at the heart, here I spit in his face to bring you back. I learn dog smart. Ah, oh, there's a shelf in the way. I prepare to pay. What's the fine for necrophilia? Yeah, that's the part of Tamriel. What's the fine for necrophilia? Yeah, that's the part of Tamriel. Young stay. I can't drink my own paralyzed potion. Oh, that, that almost worked. Just 
punch through. Come on. Uh, I might have to give up on this. Although, man, when it does work, it's so satisfying. What's the Didn't even come close to breaking it there. Not even breaking the seal. Ugh! Let me in! Oh! Oh, I thought I actually pushed through. I, I, I stopped pressing W. We might have made it. Looks like we get a little bit more speed that way. Am I going about this the wrong way? Are there any other any other strategies I could try to employ? A bowl? Suggest that again. Stonks boy, you're an absolute legend. Why the fuck won't Twitch let me give to subscription? <laughs> Thanks, Mac. I don't know why Twi Twitch stops me sometimes. I can't believe that worked. That was legendary. Stonk Boy, absolute, absolute legend. First try, and a bull shoots us straight through. It, it, it was like, it was like not being able to take a shit, and then just in one push, your entire bowels are cleared. Not the best, not the best analogy, but holy shit. Now, it's time for us to be incredibly disappointed by... Fuck, I hope there's a- okay, there is a bowl in here. Does that work? That, that analogy- okay, that analogy does work, alright, right. Gotta be careful in here. We have to take it slow, we have to savor it. Catalog of weapon enchantments? Boom. Hidden enchanting skill book, right there. Already worth it so far. 
I'm taking that bowl. We're going to need it to get out of here. There's another door in here. More free loot and owned bed. So someone does live here. They don't own all this stuff. Another bowl. Emergency bowl. Just in case we lose our first one. You got some jewelry, some more gold. <laughs> I cannot believe that that worked. There's no one in here. Ooh. Kitchen? What the hell is this place? I mean, you have a full kitchen stocked. Look at all this food. There's no one in here, though. This is a really cool place. Is this a player home? Oh my god, are you shitting me? Wait, that just goes out to solitude. Worth it. Worth it, because we get to sit on the damn throne. Yeah, that's a good B-roll. That's a good B-roll shot. That's a good B-roll shot. I probably want to actually use that shot in the video. I might just go recreate it on my own. Whew. Is there a chef's hat in here? There's a chef's hat in here. I'm... <gasps> There is a chef's hat. You guys are geniuses. Can I enchant this? <laughs> I need to enchant my chef's hat. Now, if there's a chef's apron. All right, we have to get out of here, though. Getting out of here is important. I'm going to quick save, though, and try to break through this door if we can. We did it. We explored this area. We accomplished our goal. There's nothing in here, really. But we at least got through the secret door and answered the question. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Not like this. Looks like with the bowl, you have to go a bit lower. Oh no. Come on, does it really, does it even count if we can't get out on our own? I need to keep the chef's hat. I don't want to lose the chef's hat. It's a clear sign that I loaded my old save if I lose the chef's hat. Open side, face the door. God damn it, it keeps like, it's like magnetizing. Rotate. No. My God. You piece of crap door. I'm trying to flip it. I'm trying to flip it. It won't fucking flip. It keeps going back to the other end. What is this? What is this magic? Oh my god. Get. Stop. Oh, now you're just fucking with me. Wear it like a hat. Like a hat. Like a. Come 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jug? <laughs> Candlestick? Let's not play this game. No, 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 no! Stop. Stop. I can't go through this anymore. I can't do this. I'm going insane. This challenge was supposed to be fun. A fun recreation of the original video. Instead, it's just nothing but pain. There's gotta be a basket in- Ah, yes. Okay, there is a- there- there is- there's a circumcised basket. Let's just take the long boy as well. The long boy's not gonna work, but... Come on, basket, please. Please, basket. We really need you here. No, 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 no. We're so close. We're so close. Maybe it was a different bowl. Windhelm next? Uh, next, I think I want to do Riften. I think Riften has a lot of interesting ways to go about it. Because there is pretty much a full quest line. Or at least a guild we can engage with without actually leaving Riften. I hate, I hate this. <sighs> you know, when this works and you get through the door, it feels like you're going to be able to do it perfectly each and every time. And then it just does not. It does not work. Now I can't even like... I'm not making any progress, what the hell? Okay, center of the door looks like it's the best bet. Maybe if we go center... A little bit higher, yes! Oh yeah, baby! Let's f oh, fuck yeah. Fuck, baby, fuck. Yes. Woo. Ah, God. Ah, the sun. Ah, Jesus. You don't know how long I've been in there? Woo. Bellrun's like, what the hell were you doing in there? Bellrun, you don't want to know. We got our chef's hat. We got Bellrun. We got speech to rank 90. And we can shoot birds. And we can snipe people without actually killing them, just to be a little bit of a nuisance <laughs> in order to train archery. Now, next time, our final mission, and we did Shagora's quest. Okay, I got nervous there for a second. Our, our, our final mission is to rank up archery to the point where we're just sniping and one-shotting people all across town. We're going to have to rank up sneak as well in order to do so. I think we've discovered every secret location that we can. We completed a quest underneath the city. We're a vampire. We fed on the guards of town. <laughs> our secret mission is almost complete. But this one's gonna require one more. And we got a glass crossbow. I have to figure out how we can get bolts though. If we have to start Dawn Guard to do it, then well, we're shit out of luck.
Well, this is a great place to leave off. We actually didn't even level up that many skills this time. We just were kind of exploring and clowning around. If you guys have any suggestions for other activities that we can do, uh, and you want to recommend them before we stream again tomorrow, then absolutely let me know on the Discord server, exclamation, exclamation point Discord, if you do want to join the server. I'm going to take a day off, though, because it was an upload day, or I'm going to take the rest of the day off because it was an upload day, and I'm exhausted. Thank you, kind sir. Great Misfit with a Prime subscription. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me take you guys back to... Now, I don't know how long you guys have watched the stream or if you've seen the stream before, but this is the night show. <laughs> where <laughs> actually I owe you guys a stream very soon uh, I want to do a stream this weekend I, I think we will we'll do it this weekend where we'll do an entire night show background redesign where I'll pull up this in Photoshop and we'll be able to add some more stuff yeah this is my co-host James Corden he said he's a good guy just kidding he fucking sucks got deported and sent to America and he's stuck on this damn show with me so now I got to sit with James Corden as my co-host. He's always smiling, too. He's always smiling. It's fucking, it fucking drives me nuts. It drives me fucking nuts. This guy is an ass. He's so full of himself. He just... He tries too hard. Great Misfit, thank you so much. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, if you came from the YouTube channel, thank you for watching. It's been... Uh, Kind of a crazy, crazy couple of weeks for just the channel and sort of how excited I am to create more content and do more challenges and stuff like that. Tag yourself in the urn on the shelf. We'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk about all that. What I, what I actually kind of want to do, you see the window right above my head? I want to get Mickey D's logo and like stretch it to fit perfectly within one of those and then make him opaque so it looks like he's so it looks like he's watching from the outside. Uh, but when we do that stream this weekend, I'll have the Photoshop up and I'll just let people make suggestions of stuff that we can put in and any of them that sound great, we'll throw into the background. Oh, wait, nope, not time for the credits. Once again, I do suggest this almost every stream because I do use their music quite a bit. If you do enjoy Young Scrolls music, please support his albums, buy his albums if you can. Most of the links are on his channel. You are a dragon slave, but I'm a booty slave. She can await my arrival. You are say the fortune. I'm rolling the credits. Cheers, everyone. I hope you guys enjoy. As soon as the credits end rolling, I'm going to end the stream. So if you have anything to say, speak now or forever hold your peace until like tomorrow. For James Corden, Caius Kasey is the deer right next to him and myself. Have a good night. Have a good week. Have a good Friday tomorrow. Uh, and I'll hopefully have another upload. Hopefully we have this edited and uploaded early next week. That's thinking ideally. I have to delay most of my videos though because, oh, that's it. That's the end of stream. See you.